None illa. Let's talk music. We at the end of 2018. Straight up. It's the end of October. We about to enter November. November, December. We here for 2019. What have you done to prepare? Now, as an artist, the problem with this question is we are already in the fourth quarter. If you're just now asking yourself how you're going to prepare for 2019, you're already behind. First of all, let's go over the steps to what you should be reviewing over the year to help you prepare for 2019. You need to overlook yourself as an artist. Have you grown in your performances? Out of all the performances you've done, have you gained more fans? Meaning, do you have more people purchasing your music? You have more people streaming, downloading? You have more people requesting you on social media? If you're going to these shows and you're performing and you're not seeing anything come from it, you might want to reassess where you're performing and who you're performing for. That's the first thing you need to look at. Also, too, where's your money? How much money did you spend? How much money did you make? That's such a big thing you got to reflect on. If you want to do bigger than that, compare this year to last year and also to 2016 and so on and so forth. Because with that, you could do this thing called projecting. You can project how much you're going to make next year based on what you've been doing and how you've been growing. Example. Let's say this year you pulled in, we're doing independent, right? Let's say this year you happen to pull in, basically barely doing anything. You happen to pull in 6,000. That's just a random number. I just made it up for calculation purposes. Last year you made 4,000. Two years ago you made 2,000. Based on that, how much do you think you can make next year? 8,000, right? Everything's increasing by two. If you're on the same path, if you don't like that number, ask yourself how you can adjust it in order to get more. That's a big thing you need to look at. Also, look at your performance on your views, your downloads. Are your numbers right? How much money did you spend? What did you spend it on? Have you spent it on marketing? Have you spent it on certain services, whether it's graphic design, whether it's videos, touring, your, you know your expenses. Also, tax time is coming, so make sure you have that separated. You can get that situated. I might even do a special tax video um, come January or December so you can get things situated. But you need to start planning these things out because... You need to track whether or not you're progressing or regressing. Are you getting better or worse? So many people do not consider these things and they do the same thing year in, year out. How's your social media interaction looking? Are you getting more likes or less likes? Where's people hearing your music? There's so many things as an artist that you need to think about. You need to actually treat yourself as a business. Are you spending more time in the studio or outside the studio taking care of business. You know, you can make a lot of songs, but then what? Are you on a lot of features? Are you in demand? Do more people know of you? Or are you just pushing more? What's your song quality like? Have you increased your quality as an artist? There's so many things you need to measure. The problem is, are you prepped for 2019? What's your goals? What are you planning to execute? Honestly, if you've only performed in your city all year, I take that back. If you've only stayed inside your city all year, that means, musically of course, that means if you've never driven to the nearest major city to work, network, shift things and make things happen, and or communicated with people in other cities to do the same movement forward? Are you sure you want to be in this industry? There's so many things you have to truly figure out. If you live 
outside of the Bay Area? Have you traveled to see what's moving in Oakland and San Francisco? If you live outside of LA, how often have you made it to LA to make some things happen? If you live outside of Atlanta, New York, Miami, hell, even Nashville, wherever your area is, Houston, Dallas, if you live outside of a major city, what are you doing to make your presence known in that city or at least be networked in there? I give you this as a task. In every major city that's near you or any major city that's near you, you need to know the basics. Do you know at least one or two artists in that city? Do you know a videographer in that city? Photographer? Studio? Venues that take talent to perform? Venues where you can watch other people perform. The small things. You, this is stuff you should already know. If you don't, once again, ask yourself, why are you doing this? The key thing you need to realize is you want to get better. You want to do whatever you can to get better. If you're not doing that, then why are you doing this? You have to be figuring it out. That's, that's a huge part of surviving as an artist. Also, what's your goals? What's your focus? What do you really want to do for the new year coming up? Because telling everyone you're rapping that you've done that already. Right? Where did you fail this year? How can you improve on that? There's many things to consider. This is your pressure. This is your ticker. You now have about two months to make sure you are on your A game entering the new year. There's certain things you need to find out for yourself. You know the DJs in your area. Are you working? Let's start. Are you working at all on your craft? Don't talk about it. Be about it. Push for greatness. We're here to increase that in Q. We're here to increase that IQ on music. You need to make sure you're pushing and pushing your product well. Because at the end of the day, who makes you you? You do. Your fans, they're there. But you can use more. But you also need to appreciate the ones you have. Any step that you might be potentially missing this, it's up to you to handle. That's your job. No one else can do it for you. So entering 2019, make yourself a checklist. On that checklist, put the things you've done, the things you need to do, the things you want to do, and the things that you have messed up and need to improve. The things you have done, the things you need to do, the things you want to do, the things you have messed up on and need to improve. That will set you apart. Another thing, are the basics done for your artistry? If you're in this game five years, 10 years, however many years down the line, and you still lack a website, you still lack a logo, that's, you know, that's, that could be debatable. If you still lack your image, if you still lack your idea of what your brand says, how your music's supposed to sound, granted it'll change as you grow, but you gotta have an idea. Cause winging it is not how you wanna enter 2019. It's up to you to be ready for the new year. So I'm going to shoot this to you for you to prep now. This is officially the countdown. Y'all know what to do. Subscribe, comment, like, and share it. Let's talk music. I'm out.